it is much more common to get heart inflammation after getting COVID disease than it is to get heart inflammation after getting the COVID vaccine. This is what the HHS has said today about heart inflammation and the COVID vaccine and young people. Guys, this is a hot topic because I know a lot of you parents and caretakers have been wondering, should I get my child vaccinated? You have been hearing about reports of heart inflammation or inflammation um, in tissues surrounding the heart, what we call myocarditis or pericarditis, uh, in some young people following the COVID vaccine. This has caused us to say, whoa, wait a minute. Is this vaccine safe for kids? Uh, What's the deal with this myocarditis? How dangerous is it? How common is it? Uh, What are the risks versus the benefits? Should kids keep getting this vaccine? That has been the question on the table. You've been asking this and scientists have as well. Well, they finally met to discuss this issue and they came up with the conclusion, first of all, what I just said at the beginning of this video, which is that heart inflammation, the kind that we're talking about, is actually much more common if you get COVID disease than getting the COVID vaccine. See, this committee, it's called the ACIP, is a committee of the CDC, and they met today. They looked at the data. They looked at all the stuff to try to figure out, all right, what do we do, guys? What Do we keep recommending this vaccine? By the way, I should say, this vaccine is so crucial. Guys, it's clutch. It's one of the things that's getting us out of this COVID pandemic. And don't forget, we've got the Delta variant that's flying around. That's literally like skyrocketing in terms of uh, the number of cases that are are due to this Delta variant. We know it's more transmissible, et cetera. So having this vaccine for kids is very important. We can't leave kids out. So I've certainly been waiting with bated breath. I know you all have as well to find out, all right, what's the deal? So this is the conclusions that have been made by um, this committee that met to determine whether uh, the vaccine is safe for young people. They said, number one, this heart inflammation um, is a very rare side effect and a small number of people may get it after getting the vaccine. They say, number two, if however, someone is to get this heart inflammation, Most cases are mild and people recover often on their own or with minimal treatment. And number three, they said, as I have said a number of times during this video, is that heart inflammation is actually much more common um, in people who get COVID, the disease, than those who get the vaccine. And by the way, and the risks uh, to the heart can actually be more severe uh, if you get COVID. Um, The idea is that you know, look, guys, there are potential risks and benefits to almost anything and everything we have in this world. Nothing is 100 percent. Nothing is absolutely foolproof. Uh, this vaccine is not either. But we know um, and what's been proven thus far is that beyond a shadow of a doubt, the benefits of getting this vaccine outweigh the risks. And that's what we are looking at here. The final recommendations of the HHS organization is that um, kids uh, 12 and older should get the vaccine. Okay, that the benefits of getting this vaccine outweigh the harms or the potential risks, that the benefits of of, of not contracting COVID, not getting it to uh, giving it to other people, et cetera, outweigh the potential risks. Um, And this, especially in light of the Delta variant. And um, once again, the risks of not being vaccinated and getting COVID are more than the risks of the rare potential side effects from the vaccine. Guys, I really hope you're listening closely. Nothing is perfect. The idea is that we weigh risks and benefits and we understand uh, what those are and that we do things in which the benefits outweigh the risks. And in this situation, the ACIP committee says, well, the benefits of getting this vaccine for young people outweighs the risks. So please get your kids vaccinated. If you have any questions or concerns about your child, the vaccine, et cetera, talk to your doctor. If if your child has underlying medical conditions, specific medical conditions, talk to your doctor first anyway. Make sure that you feel comfortable, you understand, but understand, I didn't mean to say understand twice, but understand uh, that the latest and the greatest is that uh, this vaccine is being deemed, um, at least the, the, the benefits of this vaccine are being deemed as much greater than the risks. And it is recommended for kids. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. This is big news. Share this video with other people. Make sure you talk to your family, talk to your kids, talk to your spouses and partners and make a plan for your family. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please share this video with other people. And if you've not liked and subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. I'm Dr. Jen. 
I'll see you soon.